guys welcome back to my channel uh, i'm starting this vlog exactly where i ended the last one so if you haven't already seen my melbourne vlog that is on my channel that is the city we have just come from but today we flew to sydney me my brother my dad my mum and my boyfriend tom got up very early this morning and left melbourne and actually headed north back into new south wales towards sydney she's vlogging Anyway, we have now arrived. I've looked a little bit in the airport, but not very much. And we have just checked into our hotel. So I will show you around. This is the first time I've stayed somewhere different, guys, since Tom and I rented our flat. With the exception of one night around Tom's birthday, we hadn't left Melbourne for like three months. So it is nice to be back up in Sydney. The weather is pulling through right now. Are you filming me? Anyway, I'm sat right by the window. As you can see, the sun is out, which I'm not going to complain about because we were a bit hit and miss with the weather in Melbourne. The focus here also looks a bit hit and miss. Obviously, we are moving into Australian winter. Um, Australian autumn, I guess. Um, but right now, I have just got ready, got changed, look a lot more alive than I did on the plane. And I'm going to show you around the hotel that we're staying in. Here is the living room. Here's Dad. Here's Harry, who has got a little sofa bed in the living room. Being a, a party of five isn't always the most ideal. That looks nice, although slightly yeah, strange with the North Face shorts. Wait a sec. Let's have this domestic. Here behind me is a little kitchenette. This is very cute. Also quite ideal, obviously, with there being five of us. Should be able to like make drinks and like have a kettle. Can I do it? If you want. Here's here's my bed. Have you showed my bed? You've shown my bed. Yeah. Yeah. That is, there's a big TV. Here is a hallway. Yep. Yep. Here's a long mirror with me. Hello, that's me. All right, you come through here. Here is an absolute bot of a human being. Hi, Tom. Say hello. He's got he's got shoes on the bed. Just pure disrespect to the hotel. Am I right? Just disrespect. They're off the bed. Disrespect. He did he did eye in his top though, so we, we do have to give him props there. If we come through here. Disrespect. He speaks to me. No, no, no. That that's my parents' bedroom. My mother's in there though. We'll show you the bathroom. Um, here's here's the bathroom. Here's a shower. And that, that's about it. Mm, that is about it. Yeah, have that back. It's cool though, guys, because it's like a little studio. It's like an apartment with two bedrooms and Harry's little <laughs> Harry's, Harry's little single bed in the living room. But you know what? It's okay because we're not on this holiday to uh, spend the time in the hotel. So Harry's fine with that bed. And otherwise, this is really nice because it's massive, guys. That is something that we definitely uh, we need the space because we have a lot of stuff between us. Like There's a lot of suitcases, backpacks stuff going on obviously tom and i had to pack up all of our stuff to travel here so we have quite a lot with us here's harry hey harry i'm wearing this red dress from stradivari don't know what time it is harry has the worst worst sunburn lines from the f1 yesterday Ooh. anyway we're heading out to explore sydney now so this is going to be visit sydney with us we've got a lot planned this week we don't have anything super set in stone like we did in melbourne but we're just going to be exploring we've got a couple of things booked and obviously we're going to start with the opera house the harbour bridge and the the front so let's go we are up on this little viewpoint that welcome to travel actually showed us where you can see both the harbour bridge and the sydney opera house from the same platform and there's never anybody up here the only place where you can see both i think it is well no well, you can see both like at the opera house yeah i'm not gonna gatekeep i thought about it but yeah. it's basically the fourth floor yeah. that's off a lighter <laughs> I'm just picking up litter. Um, it's the fourth floor of the passenger terminal for the cruises. So it's like the cruise line passenger terminal. If you get the lift to the fourth floor and walk across, this is the viewpoint. So on this side, we have Harry, Harry and the Sydney Opera House. And on this side, we have Harbour Bridge behind that pillar. And also on the other side, guys, another nice view actually is um the the city now if you've watched my vlog from the very first week we were in sydney i did vlog up here actually we've come up here tonight at sunset so the light is really beautiful the city behind me looks lovely and the sun has just gone down over the back of the harbour bridge you can kind of see it but it makes the lighting really lovely good photo opportunity three two one I mean, look at that for a nighttime view, guys. This is one of the best shots of the Harbour Bridge. I actually think it's more impressive in an evening because, like, it looks better lit up than it does during the day. These guys are here. The skyline looks pretty impressive. And behind us is the Opera House. Harry's off for a swim. Harry's going for a swim in Sydney Harbour. Guys, something is going on at the Opera House. There's, like, two helicopters 
trying to land on the water. I'm not sure, maybe, like, my mum thinks it's a training exercise. It probably is. It's also very windy. I don't know what you'll be able to hear. But we have just been taking some photos because what a backdrop. Basically, long story short, we were just taking some Instagrams up there, slash, I was taking some Instagrams, um, and some content for a reel. My brother and Tom go back to the restaurant we were just eating in, which is called El Camino. I've actually eaten in there before. I know, Tom and I actually went for a drink in the one in Brisbane, um, but we've never been to the one in Sydney. Anyway, Tom's left his sunglasses on the table in the restaurant, and has gone back to collect them because they are like his prized possession. That dog is so cute. We just spent a bit of time to them by the opera house. There's still some kind of helicopter thing going on behind me, but hopefully by the time we've walked back around the harbour front, the boys will be back with the sunglasses. I really hope Tom does find them because that won't be ideal. Also, there seems to be a roller skating collection of Where's Wally's. I don't know. Loads of people dressed as Where's Wally. Rollerblading around Sydney Harbour and here's the helicopter. It's all going on. It's all going on. Yeah, I mean, what a view. And in case you were wondering what I was talking about, this is what I'm talking about. Not really too sure, but they're quite good, to be fair. I got back to school roller skating when I was a teenager. You got, when you, when you were a teenager? Not dressed as Where's Wally though. It's like a young teenager, we used to go, you know, like you did for ice, ice skating. Ice skating, yeah. Hmm, could you still roller skate? Was it roller skating or roller blading? No, it was, it was skating on the boots, not the blades. Oh, cool though, very cool. Hello guys, we are at Bondi Beach and we have just completed well, I say just completed earlier, I completed the Kuji to Bondi Coastal Walk, which is my top recommendation for if you're ever in Sydney and you want to like see some of the suburbs, see the beach, see all the beaches on like the Eastern Way. It is very nice, it is long and it was warm, um, but this is kind of what it looks like. You guys have seen me do this before, but it is really beautiful and actually today the weather is better than the last twice I've done this. Um, and it does make a difference when the sky is blue and you're looking at the ocean, so that was lovely. And then we had a little pit stop at a cafe called Up South Bondi, which really kindly had dropped me a DM on Instagram. They had reached out to me the last time I was in Sydney, but sadly we'd like just left, so we actually missed them. So we popped into this cafe, this is what it looked like. We had some food, we had some drinks, Harry and I had acai bowls, fresh juice, that kind of vibe. When I was in there I realised actually quite a lot of Bondi I feel have modelled themselves off the kind of like Bali culture or maybe vice versa, maybe parts of Bali have modelled themselves off of Bondi um, but either way it was the same same like similar vibes and then we just spent the last couple of hours chilling on the beach which is where we are now walking along the promenade we actually kind of want to be up here guys yeah we have just been catching some sun it's very nice to be back in the good weather guys like Melbourne does not feel like this right now you couldn't lay on the beach in Melbourne right now you'd be actively freezing cold um, and I didn't realize how much of a big difference there actually would be between Melbourne and Sydney at this time of year like I thought Sydney would be chilly as well so I'm really glad that it isn't here is Bondi it's a lot quieter than the last time I was here I think it was New Year's Day or like January the 2nd when I last came to Bondi and it was absolutely packed Hello guys, you're standing in the cupboard currently. Just got changed into a little pink, pink outfit. And we are going for dinner at Spice Alley. I think these clips actually look a bit daft, but I'm gonna wear them anyway. Um, the Spice Alley is basically like an outdoor street food place. I've been here in the vlogs before. Basically, I'm doing the Welcome to Travel walking tour of Sydney. So you have seen most of this stuff before, but the reason we're replicating it is because Welcome to Travel really do show you the best bits of Sydney. So I have stolen that from them. Um, but yeah, Spice Alley is kind of in towards like the other side of the city a little bit more. So away from the Opera House and the bridge, like in the other direction. And it's basically just a street food place for all of the best Asian cuisines you can imagine. We're talking like Thai, Vietnamese, Indonesian, Malaysian, Indian, Chinese, like so, so, so many amazing different foods. Um, and there's something for everybody. And it's just a cool place as well. Like the whole atmosphere is really cool. We're gonna head there. My outfit is very basic. Just got my jeans, my top, little uh, <laughs> clips, and then my hair's in this bun, guys. I literally did this to get in the shower. And then I thought, hmm, kind of like hit it. Just gonna leave it. 
classic size, of course, I got a pad thai, a solo, classic, also very Aussie. And I also got a roti to go with it because, you know, there's just not enough carbs with the noodles. I need bread as well. My mum got some spring rolls. They look really good. She's just got pineapple fried rice, which I just think sounds very up my alley. And we're sat in here, which is very, very cute. There's also randomly a piano. Kind of love that. But yeah, it's a very cute little space. Very hidden as well. You'd have to know it was here. So it's definitely worth checking out. All the little street vendors are just so good here. I could literally eat from all of them. I could come here every day for 10 days and order from a different stand each time. And I would be thriving each time. You get such a good portion. You do, well. massive, massive portion. Every time I come here, I get a main on the side thinking I can eat it all. And I barely finish the main. I do it, I do it every time, I don't mind. Yep, yeah. guys, we are back in the Mario Kart arcade that we came to with Katie and the boys are unboxing Mario Kart figurines. <laughs> Is it a bad one? No way! What does it mean getting weird yeah. blocks? What did you get? No. I've literally that's, never seen that. Down. Yeah, that's Mario's what I said. I don't want no Mario won. <laughs> the block. You've won the block. Dad's definitely won. Wow. There we go. Dad won. Tom didn't. I am pretty convinced all grabbers are rigged, guys, but... You'll never get a stage. It's so far away. No. That's it. You only get two movements. No, I don't think you do on this one. Go on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I can't get any further left. Go any further left. Go further back, then. go any further left. So You're gonna have to get the purple one. Oh, they're the same. You've got it. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, press. Oh. Press again to keep it close. I don't think you are. I think it's fine. Good morning. I look ridiculous. Essentially, look more ridiculous now. It is Wednesday morning and we are up bright and early because we are going scuba diving. Me, Tom, and Harry are all diving at a dive site called Bear Island, which is kind of south of Sydney. Um, but not very far, like half an hour away. There are actually a few dive locations in and around the city of Sydney. So if you are over here and you want to try it, I will link the company we've used down below. We have actually used them before when Katie was here. Tom and Katie did a dive, but at the time I wasn't very well. And it's quite difficult to dive when you're bunged up and you have a cold. Um, so I didn't do it. But today, all three of us are doing a dive. And I have actually met the guy before, so was Tom, obviously. Because we dived with this company back in January, I think it was. So we're going to head there now in an Uber. And Tom has the GoPro, so you will be able to see some of the footage i don't know what we're gonna see i don't really know what's here because obviously when you dive at like the barrier reef you're guaranteed to see like nemo sharks things like that i don't really know what's in and around sydney maybe also nemo to be fair we headed to Bear Island, which is just slightly outside of Sydney for our first dive in a little while and Harry's first scuba dive ever. I looked pretty chilly here, guys. It was actually freezing. It was warmer once we got in the water. But like I mentioned, Jason, who was our guide, was so lovely. It was such a lovely atmosphere. It was just the three of us down there and then obviously him. So really, really nice environment. I felt super safe because there's been a couple of times where I've dived where I've just wanted that bit of extra guidance. And sometimes because I've already got a qualification, there's been a lot of times where I'm like, oh, I haven't done this in a while. I feel like a bit ropey and they, they maybe don't help you as much. Whereas this was so lovely. Saw so many cool fish, saw some jellyfish, saw just loads of different kinds of marine life. Even saw an octopus, guys. Like, really bloody cool. Also, I think the footage always looks so funny because, like, the easiest way I can describe this is it sort of feels like how I imagine it would feel to be in space. Like, everything is so slow. Like, it looks and feels like you're doing it all in slow motion. So, yeah, fun experience, cool experience. Really, really glad that I did it. The size of that boat, guys, is ridiculous. It's not even a boat, is it? Calling it a boat is not correct. Is that a ship? Harry's, uh, oh, oh wow, I didn't even see that. That is an impressive view as well. Every angle is a view, guys. Hello, guys. That bird's just decided now is a good time to pipe up, but haven't updated you since we did the scuba dive. It was actually really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot more than the last one that I did. I haven't dived since the Barrier Reef and I just felt a bit out of my depth because I hadn't done it in a while. And they literally, yeah, literally. Um, right, I've picked the worst time. But yeah, we like jumped off a boat in the Barrier Reef into like deep, deep water and I hadn't dived in a while and I just felt a bit like, wow. Whereas today it was a lot calmer. We walked in from the shore and it was really nice and the guy was really lovely, which actually makes a huge difference. 
Um, also, Harry did his first dive, and I think he liked it. Anyway, now we're at Manly Beach. We've just been on the beach for about two hours. The beach is actually behind us, just over here, if you can see it. And uh, now we're sat in a rooftop bar called the Brighton Hotel, the new Brighton Hotel, right on the promenade. This view is actually great behind me. Lots of palm trees. Yeah, we're just having some drinks before we're gonna go get some food. We may be the only people on the Manly Fast Ferry. Hi. There's Harry. Hi there. <laughs> Behind me. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Thursday. I'm embracing the natural hair in full. Wowie. The hat sort of helps. It sort of makes it worse. It sort of makes it like balloon out. Um, but it doesn't really matter because it's raining today in Sydney. I'm not thriving at that, but glad that we went to the beach yesterday because we were almost going to wait and go to the beach today. So we are going to actually head out for brunch now because what else do you do on a rainy day? Me, my mum, Tom and Harry are going to find a little cafe and then my dad is actually meeting us there because he's actually popping in to his office, which is really random and really cool, but the company he works for have offices in like major cities across the world. I don't really know how he knows some of the Australian people that work in this office, but he does. So he's going to pop into there to see those people, because obviously he's here. Um, and then afterwards he's going to meet us in the rocks, which I think is where we're going to go for brunch, because Tom and I went to a cafe in the rocks before, and that whole area is pretty good for breakfast, pretty good for brunch, lunch, all of that sort of stuff. And then I'm not really too sure what the plan is, because obviously the weather isn't great, so we'll just see where the day takes us. But there are a lot of shopping places in Matt. Melbourne, Sydney. Maybe we'll go shopping. Not that I have space for any stuff. Can't really, can't really fit any clothes in my bag, but we'll see. We are in Sydney's Botanical Gardens. We've actually not been here at all. Tom's first visit as well. Um, the weather has stopped raining. It's not sunny, but it's not raining. So we'll take it, we'll take it. And now uh, we're just walking back into the city. It is actually really warm, so it's quite nice. And uh, yeah, these gardens, these gardens are lovely actually. Smaller than Melbourne's Botanical Gardens, but really, really nice still. I think it's nice that there's like such big green spaces in both of the big cities here because like obviously London does have that as well um, but I feel like some cities don't so this is very nice. We are at the Skid... Skidney? Skidney? Sydney Sky Tower. Skidney. We're about to go up it. This is exactly what we're going to look like. Just kidding, we're not going outside. We're currently going through security so that we can uh, get to the top. This is where we're staying. That's our hotel. This is Hyde Park. And then over this side, this is Darling Harbour. And all the way around the other side is Sydney Harbour and Sydney Bridge and Sydney Opera House. How have you found the tower? I like it. And I'm not a fan of heights. I'm okay in here. Do you want to see what you can see right now? Nothing. There's nothing. nothing. <laughs> I'm older than the Opera House. Dad's older than the Opera House by a year. Two, Two years. years. Two years. But it took 14 years for them to complete it, so by the time it had been completed, you were 16. I don't remember it opening though, being on the news or anything. Why would you? You were in Australia. No, but it had been big news, wouldn't it? Would it? Would it yeah, in the UK yeah, have been big Humber news? Bridge news in a minute here. I'm not sure the Humber Bridge is on the same scale globally as the Sydney Opera House. Yeah, it will have been. Anyway, we're gonna head down with us. Harry though. Yeah, I think he's already jumped out. I hope he has. Guys, I've introduced mum to chai lattes. I had one this morning instead of a coffee and she really likes it. Harry's got a chocolate milkshake, Tom's got a caramel milkshake? Thick shake. Caramel thick shake. Dad's on the beer. Dad's dad's on a holiday. I've got a cappuccino. Never get a chance to drink midday on a Thursday. Well that's not true. I'm off to Actually true, actually. I do, it's called uni. <laughs> I feel like Dad sort of is still living that lifestyle anyway, though, to be honest. Firstly, we're not going to talk about the spot that's on my head, okay? Secondly, we're going to end the Sydney vlog here because we are actually about to fly to the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast? That did, come out, that did come out a bit Australian. The Gold Coast. Gold Coast? Sounds better in an Aussie accent. The Gold Coast? The Gold Coast? Why are you saying it's so weird? Gold Coast. Would you rather Gold I said it with a broad, Coast. broad Yorkshire accent? That's the one. Anyway, <laughs> we are about to fly there to spend Easter weekend up uh, on the Gold Coast. On the what? I'm self-conscious now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the Sydney vlog. I don't really think I filmed anything last night, but we went for dinner at this really nice restaurant called 
Casa Italian or Casa Itali. Casa something. Um, and it's, this video is going well. Yeah, it's on Darling Harbour here in Sydney. And I really recommend checking that area out if you're looking for somewhere to eat that's like a really nice stretch of just restaurant after restaurant after restaurant sort of feels like a holiday vibe if you're somewhere in Europe maybe like the whole thing is on a car but actually it sort of reminds me of Villa Mora in the Algarve the way that it's laid out and it's just a really nice area to go to eat so many lovely restaurants so many different kinds of food so we went there last night and now it is Friday morning and I'm gonna end the vlog here so thank you so much for watching we've had a really lovely time in Sydney I feel as though been a bit more laid back than Melbourne a bit more chilled out we haven't had as like many things planned but we've still managed to see the whole city do everything we wanted to do here we even scuba dived plus I really think we got lucky with the weather because like I've mentioned a million times the weather is turning it is like awesome here in Australia now um, but we got really lucky it was very warm here and it's gonna be even warmer on the Gold Coast I don't know why I'm wearing this massive hoodie well, I do actually it's because I can't pack it in my bag but other than that I shall see you in my next vlog which will be from Easter weekend on the Gold Coast Gold Coast? Pause behind me by the way bye